Hello, everyone. It is my absolute pleasure and delight to be here with you this afternoon. I am Allison Robinson, founder of The Mom Project, to discuss why I believe diversity is so important to contingent workforce strategy. Before we dive into the material, I'd love to share a little bit about my personal journey and what led me to starting The Mom Project. Uh, so you can see my two sons here uh, in the photo, um, Asher and Henry. Before I started The Mom Project, I spent about nine years at Procter & Gamble. I had uh, the opportunity in the earlier part of my career to sell to some of our largest customers across the country, retail uh, customers like Costco, Walmart, Target, to help discover how we could grow the P&G portfolio of brands um, at their retail shelves and increasingly online as e-commerce became a bigger and bigger piece of the market share. And then um, the last three years that I was at P&G, I had the really incredible opportunity to lead our Pampers Innovation Team for North America. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? Well, it was both product innovation and commercial innovation. From a product perspective, how could we better construct our diapers to ensure that they don't leak during the night? And from a commercial perspective, how were we reaching mom where she was consuming content and media and how that was changing so dramatically away from traditional media like TV, radio, print to online? and absolutely fell in love with that role, saw the incredible changes that were happening in consumer behavior because of technology, and was absolutely fascinated by, by the shift and the mom consumer segment. It was actually when I went on maternity leave from that job at Pampers um, with my son Asher in 2015 that I came across a stat that I just found jarring, which was that over 43% of women leave the workforce after having children. And that was just something I could not get out of my head. Um, myself personally, I'd always sort of thought about what was I going to do when I had a family. My career was still really important to me. Um, I had seen the struggles my mom and sister went through. Um, both of them had decided to leave the workforce and had really struggled to get back. And so I realized how much it, bigger this issue was than just them. And so I saw a real opportunity to help fix this problem and make it so that women never feel forced to choose between their families and their career. Um, and so I really made it our mission at the Mom Project to build a better workplace for women, families, and the businesses they support. We're really excited to be tackling this problem really from two different angles. Um, the first being, how do we help moms feel very supported as they navigate work and family, whether that means connecting them with the right opportunity at the right company or just helping them solve through other obstacles that they may encounter, whether they be childcare, um, new skilling. There's so much that we're excited to be bringing to our community to help unlock female potential. And for the customers that we have the great privilege of serving thousands of companies across the U.S., whether it be Fortune 10 massive companies like AT&T or Facebook or companies that are just getting started and really helping them put their diversity goals into practice. So the Mom Project is really the marketplace that brings it all together. And just for some perspective on how large the mom workforce population is, consider that 86% of women will become mothers by the age of 44. So it is the vast majority of female talent um, at the experience level. So we know there's about 38 million women across the U.S. in prime income earning years. Um, but these women often feel very misunderstood, um, particularly as they hit motherhood. And we know that 83% of women would actually leave their current employer for an opportunity that better supports their work-life needs. And at the same time, we know that company commitment to gender diversity is at an all-time high. Uh, company leaders, HR leaders um, are seeing that gender diverse teams drive better business outcomes. But despite company commitment to being at an all-time high, um, companies are simply struggling to put that commitment into practice. 
So you can see here in the chart, um, companies we see pretty consistently tend to do a good job at attracting female talent at the entry level, but then begin to lose women at the manager, director, VP, SVP, and most senior levels of the organization. And this is not coincidentally, as many women at that m jump to manager are also starting to build families and either leaving the workforce for a period of time or leaving a large enterprise for maybe a smaller firm that's able to offer them more work-life integration. So we believe if we want to get that trend upward, we've really got to get into the minds and hearts of women to understand the ways that they want to work now, uh, which we know is really different than it was even five, ten years ago. Uh, the first big trend that we're seeing is more women are starting businesses. Um, really driving a lot of the small business growth in the U.S. If you consider that the current national average of small business ownership by women is 19%, but 41% of new businesses being created are women, um, you can see that this is a really big shift um, in terms of many women really embracing entrepreneurship. Second, we know more women are choosing to freelance. In fact, we know that women represent the full-time, uh, the clear majority of full-time freelancers or contingent workers, um, and they most often cite caregiving as the reason why. Um, so we've seen women really overrepresented in what we would probably consider gig roles, right? So Instacart, Uber-type shift work. But we see this talent pool massively underrepresented in Fortune 1000 contingent work, which is um, a, a huge area of focus for the mom project, getting these incredible women connected with these um, more robust opportunities with some of the best brands in the world. And finally, uh, more women are pressing pause. So today, about 43% of highly skilled women are leaving the workforce for a period of time after childbirth. And that trend is actually on the rise, not decline with millennials. So we believe now is really the time to put an end to the challenges that women face when trying to navigate motherhood and career to be able to unlock the full potential of women in the workplace. The reality is that the number of women participating in the labor force in the U.S. has actually not moved in over 20 years. But we believe now is really the time to get that number growing again. And we're seeing really a confluence of factors that we believe will help drive this shift. Number one, we talk company and leadership commitment to gender diversity is at an all-time high. This has really moved from being a social topic to a business imperative that increasingly even CEOs are scorecarding themselves on. Second, rapid technological advancement is, is simply changing how and work gets done. Uh, we're seeing a lot of shift around uh, work structure, which is really exciting. Certainly tools like Slack, Zoom are making uh, distributed workforces much easier to manage. Um, so we believe this all means really good things for women. Um, third, social norms and gender roles are quickly evolving, uh, whether it be Alexis Ohanian, who is publicly talking about his wife taking precedence um, in, in their family unit or uh, major league baseball players sitting out the playoffs to be there for the birth of their child. I think we're really like at such a cool moment in time when dads are really stepping up and gender roles are really evolving. And finally, um, we're seeing really good trends around increase in public policy uh, to be able to support families being able to work. So whether that be paid parental leave or an increase in child care subsidies. Um, I think a lot of our government leaders see how closely tied these policies are to labor participation and, and think this will only continue uh, to get better in the U.S. Uh, so the Mom Project is really excited to be the marketplace to bring it all together. So we as a business operate as a double uh, two-sided marketplace. So we call moms our supply. So on the supply side, we've got over 200,000 incredibly talented women all across the U.S. who are coming to us. They're looking for opportunities that align with their work-life integration needs. She's highly educated. 98% have college degrees. Nor nearly 40% have uh, master's degrees. And so she's looking for her next fulfilling opportunity. 
Um, about two thirds of the roles that our moms are looking for tend to be project based or contingent. Um, so that's been just a really, really big and growing piece of our business. And about a third are looking for more traditional work structures, whether those be full or part time. And then on the company side, as I mentioned, we uh, we have the good fortune of working with thousands of companies all across the country. I think the exciting thing for us has been, um, you know, interest so broadly, whether that be pharma, telecom, technology, consumer. Um, we've really been able to plug in in a very seamless way into our customers to identify where is their need around bringing more experienced female talent into the organization and showing quick success. Um, so really what makes the Mom Project special is that we are truly becoming the trusted career resource for women uh, and the largest aggregator of female mom talent in the country. Uh, we know women are 3.2 times more likely to engage with an opportunity if it's coming to us to them through the mom project versus traditional outreach. And I truly believe that's because we're not trying to minimize one of the most important considerations in their decision matrix, which is their family. And we really allow them to bring that forward in a very honest and transparent way. Um, you know, it's interesting. I, I came from Tampa, so I love the consumer work that we're doing to really uncover what are the practical challenges moms are facing when trying to to get back to work or stay in the workforce. So while um, kind of the business is anchored on finding moms great work, we know that there's still a lot of other challenges that stand in the way. So I'll share with you a few examples of how we're trying to chip away at these. Um, one being Many women we find are just lacking the network, resources, and support to be able to get back to work, or maybe they've just had a child and to feel supported in, in that transition back to work. Um, so I'll take the example of maybe a woman who's been out of the workforce for a few years and she's looking to get back. Uh, we recently partnered with Salesforce and Career Circle to help upskill these women to um, technology jobs, specifically around Salesforce. Um, so we're continually looking at how can we take pools of talent that maybe want to pivot their career, how can we upskill them or reskill them for today's labor market. Um, we also find that job seeking can be really impersonal and scary. Um, so when moms apply for our jobs, they get paired with a mom success manager to help them navigate through all of their questions, concerns. Sometimes it has entirely nothing to do with the job itself, but um, just having helping them navigate through the life transition of maybe, um, you know, moving back into the city, trans, um, commuting back into the city. Um, another pain point that's really common is child care. Um, so we actually cover the cost of child care um, for moms to be able to not have to worry about getting to their interview. Um, and finally, outdated resume. And so we're about to launch a new feature on a product which will allow mo all moms through the Mom Project have just a really beautiful, elegant um, resume to be able to articulate what it, uh, the skills that they possess and be able to, to really own their career break if they have one. Um, and we're really excited to be partnering with some of the best companies in the world on this journey. Um, you can see here a snapshot of, of some of our customers. Um, we, we serve customers all throughout the country. Um, some of the logos you'll see here, Google, Etsy, um, Gap, I think really just um, the depth of the network allows us to serve our customers in really thoughtful ways. Um, and again, our, our focus has really been around serving their contingent workforce needs, um, as well as with talent acquisition teams. Do they have roles available where they really need to bring more female talent um, into the organization? Great. Um, and our approach to partnering with companies to upend the status quo and really unlock unlocking the full female potential um, 
ha- really takes three forms with the companies that we work with. The first being research and insights, the second being hiring and retention, and the third being awareness. Um, so I'll start with awareness. Um, we love shining a light on the great work that the companies we work with are doing to support women and families. Uh, So some examples of how we work with companies in this capacity, um, we often participate in the ERGs. Many of the large companies we work with have women's groups, family groups, and so we're sharing best practices that we're seeing across the market with their groups, whether that be on parental leave, um, child care, fertility. um, We love participating in these. We also love telling a national audience about the good work that, that the companies we work with are doing. It's very common for us to pitch um, some of our partnerships with media and really be able to garner national attention to drive um, our, our customers' employer brand and really elevate them as a company that supports and respects women, women and families. And research and insights, uh, this is a really important piece of our business um, to really be able to deliver on our mission of building a better workplace for women and mothers and the businesses they support. We feel like we not only have to be able to connect women with the right opportunities, but we want to help our co- the companies we work with structurally um, be better at how they support and respect women and families. Um, So we actually call this division of the Mom Project, Mom Project Labs. And so we have a PhD on our team, Dr. Pam Cohen, who leads this work for us. She's a behavioral economist and social psychologist. Um, So she helps companies understand their biggest opportunities to drive impact around retention, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So this is a really, really um, important piece of our work. And just to share with you an example that we recently did, one of our customers is the technology uh, marketplace, Etsy. Um, and so Etsy came to us after having having um, announced a very generous parental leave. Um, so there was an immediate, immediate need they had around staffing those, gap, those extended gaps. So the Mom Project is really proud to partner with with Etsy on being a maternity ship is what we call, we've trademarked the term um, maternity leave coverage for a lot of different roles across our company, ranging from merchandising director, product design, um, marketing. And Pam also helped them um, understand some opportunities they had to even further amplify their parental leave program. Um, So just an example of a really robust customer partnership where we're not only providing Etsy with with the hiring, um, but we're also helping make policy recommendations um, that will ultimately drive retention, productivity, and access to diverse talent. And the hiring, um, last but not least, um, so we've learned a lot since We've been in market about four years in in terms of the way that customers want to work with us. I think the areas that we've found a lot of success around staff augmentation, uh, we're very, very excited about our partnership with SAP Field Glass and what this means in terms of our ability to bring more of these staff augmentation contingent roles to our 200,000 moms. Um, That will continue to be the biggest piece of our hiring business. Um, I just spoke a little bit about maternity ship. I just love this. It's so on mission for us, moms covering for other moms or dads who are going on leave. Um, and I mentioned we also work with talent acquisition leaders, HR leaders, um, for more um, full-time roles and return to work programs. An example of this is VP. They were the first customer of ours to pilot uh, return to work programs and it's been so exciting to see the success of that program um, and, it's, and how it scaled. So we, we, we started that program bringing five women back to work in Chicago for their downstream fuel business. And it's since um, increased. We're looking at 2020, you know, 
dozens of, of professionals getting back to work across different geographies and business units, um, and that just built so much momentum within BP. Um, so it's really, really been very cool for us to be able to author these return to work programs with our customers and really see um, them be successful. And uh, an interesting note around uh, diversity as it pertains to the contingent workforce and a trend that we're seeing, I think, for a lot of contingent workforce programs, perhaps they view diversity from the perspective of ownership, um, but found that that didn't always translate to candidate talent diversity. So really proud to share that the Mom Project is not only a women-owned business, but truly our talent pool is diverse. Um, over 30% of our candidates are also ethnically diverse. 90, over 90% 90 are female. Uh, we also do have dads um, and women who are not, not mothers on the platform. So we really are very inclusive and we you do not have to be a mom to join the Mom Project. We really welcome anyone that aligns with our mission to build a better workplace. Um, and from a product perspective, we're really excited about what we're doing to very uh, fairly match talent with opportunities. We've seen that, um, you know, there can be a lot of bias that can potentially exist in match science. And so we are proud that our algorithms are built for women by women. Um, and so we're not only a factoring in technical uh, capabilities, but also um, work structure preferences, um, behavioral science to make sure that we're really um, making sure that women are being understood and, and matched properly. Um, so this work is, is really exciting for us. This is work that Pam, Pam needs for us. And um, we think we're doing some, some really cool stuff on, on the match front. Um, and just to quickly summarize our talent community, as I mentioned, we've got over 200,000 users on the platform. Um, they're diverse. They're in all 50 states. As you think about how we could potentially plug into your work ecosystem, um, the MOM project really excels at professional function. So where we've got the strongest depth of talent today is really around marketing, project management, creative, operations, digital, HR, technology, legal, finance, sales. Um, these are women who typically have eight to 10 years of experience. Um, and actually 72% of our users are actively in the workforce um, and just looking for an opportunity that better aligns with our work-life needs. So it, it tends to be a very passive, passive workforce. And with that, I am going to kick it over to share a company spotlight with JLL. JLL is a professional service firm. We provide real estate services and products to organizations that are both owners and occupiers. And we have over 90,000 employees across the world. One of the teams that I support, they're closing a lot of transactions on a daily basis. And we've had challenges in the past to staffing that role. And so I reached out to Jane to ask, what is the Mom Project all about? We are the hub for women that are looking for work and life integration and to find work that fits families. We get the great privilege of working with companies that are progressive, they're innovative, and they're committed to women. I was drawn to the mission. I know how hard it is to think about how could I leave this child at home, but I have this career. I don't want to leave that either. So I felt like the Mom Project was that perfect intersection so that women didn't have to overthink that. There's no reason why someone can't be really successful working in a remote capability and still able to spend time with their kids as they need to. Three different kids, a working spouse as well. It's a pretty dynamic time in our house. I didn't want to give up my career because I enjoy what I do, but my family is a priority as well. So the partnership with Mom Project and JLL has fulfilled both of those for me. In my interview, I was asked what my needs were as far as work-life balance, and that has never occurred in my life before, so I just found that really refreshing. Having that flex space, it just speaks volumes for the culture here at JLL, and it's nice to know that the senior leadership supports that. Working with Jane and Carrie, who are both working moms themselves, is really beneficial because they get it. 
all their education, all their history is still there. When it's working hours, you're very productive because you know there's so much more to be done. We've had a lot of success with the Mom Project, specifically in our marketing, finance, and HR departments. They're hitting all of the criteria that we've asked for. The part-time roles actually have ended up working out a lot better than having just a team of full-time individuals. If you're going to come in through a contract opportunity and you hit the ball of the park, there's a very good chance that you will have the opportunity to stay on and work at JLL. I wasn't aware that these things were even possible. It's very validating that I can balance my family life with my work career, and so I'm more a part of my children's lives on a regular basis, which means a lot. JLL has been an amazing partner. We really see them as a company that's leading the way for working moms. The mission of bringing moms back to work, meeting them where they're at, and knowing that JLL has wonderful opportunities for them, that's what I'm most proud of. Being a working mom is something really special, and so I really love that we can help find like a perfect fit for some other working moms out there. Great. Um, we're, we feel so fortunate to work with a world-class company like JLL for now three years. They were one of our very first. And to really see the relationship blossom um, has just been so rewarding. So a special shout-out to them. Um, and a couple of other quotes that I love from some of our large companies that we work with. One from Nike really speaks to me which is to find more programmers, scientists, and engineers. We don't have to wait for the future generation of workers to come of age. The women raising them could be the best candidate. Really, really cool. Well, thank you all so much for your time today um, and allowing me to share a few thoughts on diversity and to share more about the Mom Project with you. I hope um, in some way we can help support your priorities for 2020. Um, so if you have any questions, um, please reach out to me anytime, um, allison.robinson at the mom project, and please join us in building a better workplace. Thank you.